Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, where as normal, we are diving straight into the Bitcoin charts together, doing what we absolutely love, and that is our technical analysis training, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just get straight into the content today, straight into it, pim pam, pim pam, pom, pim pam, and we're in. So here we are looking at the Bitcoin chart today, very well respected if we're talking about it in terms of technical analysis. Obviously, we had our trading range yesterday. If you uh, watched yesterday's video, hopefully you did. We had our trading range yesterday, which did break to the downside. We had our first level, which was our 30 minute SR flip. And we did hit that 30 minute SR flip, which held us up for a total of a total of three hours, 45 minutes. Not too shabby itself, a level which you could obviously sculpt from. But in the end, it was lost. Where was that level lost and where did we head to next? Well, in my opinion, there was only one level where you look for next after we lost that. And as I said to the champions group, I was looking for the point of control next. What is the point of control, ladies and gentlemen? It is the highest volume level inside of the range. So this is a very important support level after losing that 30 minute low. So we had our 30 minute SR flip after the 30 minute SR flip was lost. Really simply, there's only one single level that I was looking for next. And that was the point of control, obviously within the CC. So what are we looking for? We're obviously, but personally, I'm looking to buy the dip at that CC level. And here we go, a little bit of humor for you all. What happens when you buy the dip? We're obviously, the, obviously within chart champions, this means sip the dip. And we absolutely sips the dip. I have a little bit of a backstory about this one before we get back into the charts. This was Saturday night, posting in the Discord, hey, who's in London? Who wants to come out? Hit the clubs. Have a great night. We had Matt, Loz and, Matt, Loz and Daniel joining us. And well, that's how the night ended. So when you start sipping the dip, make sure the dip. Well, there we go. That's a totally different photo. Make sure the dip doesn't leave you absolutely destroyed. You have to be very careful when you're sipping the dip, but we did sip the dip yesterday quite well, as we can see here, I didn't know on the better back into the technical analysis. Yeah, this is what you call sipping the dip. Sipping the dip first on the SR flip, then sipping the dip, second off of the CC, and that is the point of control. So the level we are ready and waiting for, very nicely coming back into play there. And actually, that was a level that quite a lot of people were looking at. We were all looking at. We all knew what was there. We all knew what was there. Uh, three posts in a row looking for that. There you go. CC pool coming together, defending that level. And obviously, a pretty lovely bounce off of the CC and the points of control. So that's what we're talking about. You have to be patient, ready, and waiting for that level. Because after the initial drop, it did take another six hours before you actually hit the point of control. As I said already to my team this morning, great bounce from that CC. Absolutely, it was a great bounce. But let's now not forget the level of resistance that we have just come into. And personally, yes, I have now taken a scope short position off of this. Um, you know, it might not end in a massive retracement. We'll have to wait and see. But it was worth the scope nevertheless. Um, and that is obviously, have a guess, ladies and gentlemen. You can see already we got the daily. But what's the confluence of this daily? Fibonacci from the high to the low. And you can see right here. Ba -da -ba -ba bam right into the CC. So, um, you know, I, I actually forgot to pull this lower CC for you just so you actually saw it. That was obviously the fib for the support here, here, the fib and actually from the low up to the high. And as you can see, that came into the CC there. And then what we're looking for for the opposite, well, obviously for the fib from the high to the low, and we come into the CC here, pretty much the dollar, which was also on confluence with the daily. So this is our next resistance level. That's coming in at around $49,963 to be precise at the top of that CC. And obviously what we have down here is the point of control, uh, which was uh, coming in at about $48,850. So we have our intraday resistance here. We have our intraday support here. And you know, there's no reason why we cannot just trade within this range itself. Obviously, if we break the high of this range, we're gonna be looking back up to around 50,400. And should we break the low of this range, well, we're probably gonna be searching back down towards these lows, to be honest with you, around 48,000-ish, 48,200. The, the lows are a little bit harder to define here, let's be honest, because you know, that just feels like this is a really, really, really important support at that 48K level. So you don't really wanna be, well, I mean, it's not like we don't want to be seeing it. We're, we're happy to trade the market either way, but I suppose you don't want to see it if you are a moon boy, yeah? <laughs> but if you're happy to trade the charts either way, we know the levels to be trading. We know the really big support. And we can see that because we're ready and waiting for that one level. That one level hits. We get a massive, lovely bounce. 
Okay, then we're obviously continuing to just trade the charts for what they are. We come back into the CC with the date. It's worth this worth the scope short. Uh, we'll have to see how it fares. We could obviously just put in our higher low here and blast straight through. If we do, that's absolutely fine. I'll be looking back up towards that fifty thousand free fifty thousand four hundred dollar level back into our order block here. Um, that's what I'd be looking for next if we break through. Well, well, hunky dory. We'll go to the larger all time high CC Fibonacci level, and obviously once again, should we break down from this point of control, I'll be looking back down towards forty eight thousand dollars. So I mean, for me, it's very, very, very simple trading right now. We just have to have our levels, mark them out and then trade the reaction off those levels. Yeah, it's, it really is pretty simple trading right now, ladies and gentlemen. The technicals are being well respected. Um, you know, each level that we're given, it, it has got respect. And um, yeah, it's obviously you have to acknowledge these levels will break at some point. They do not hold forever. But once you've got in, once you've got the initial reaction, it's worth a trade. Whether that ends in a 1% move or it ends in a 10% move, there's money to be made on it all. And uh, yeah, for, for a trader, day trader like myself, I'm, I'm pretty content with it all. Um, yeah, so I, I really, really, really hope this video has been helpful for you, hey? Uh, quick video, what we have, five minutes. If you love these type of short videos where I'm just giving you the content as you need it, just absolutely smash that like button as hard as you can. And if you are in the champions group and you want to be going and sipping the dip with us next time, check the messages. I'm sure we're going to do another one, probably in a one weekend's time. We're going to, we'll do another meetup and uh, yeah, let's see how many chance we can get on the next one and absolutely sip the dip together there. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a brilliant week. I'm loving it right now. Uh, the trading's nice. Just everything is really good. So yeah, hope you have a brilliant, 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 brilliant week ahead, ladies and gentlemen. And uh yeah, I suppose I'll see you in the contender stream tomorrow night. That's going to be a good one. Thank you ever so much and have a good time. Bye-bye.